Faults coming up now for Kentucky. They need some stuck landings. Ariana Patterson, the first of the four. There it is. I was just going to say, she does a good job sticking this. She had that mistake on. This is Mara Tirasoli from Missouri. She has had to wait through that whole controversy on floor over here on the podium. Finally getting her chance to go now. And she is just a natural bar worker. The way she swings and milks every position is stunning. Check out these handstands at the line. She scored a 10 earlier this year and drills the landing. So has the team. Here we go with Isabella Magnelli. 9-9-5 for Raina Worley. Isabella Magnelli capable of great gymnastics here on balance beam. 15th ranked in the country with a high of a 9-9-5 this season. Haley Bryant, the number one gymnast in the all-around in the nation here on bars. Big Jaeger release move. What I love about this LSU bar team is just how big and dynamic these release moves are. It really makes a statement when you watch them. It separates them from other teams that work bars. You're going to see she has a good landing, but it's not a stuck landing. You don't see that happen often. I'm not really. I don't that, know what's going on on that mat over there. That is a step that is a very rare occurrence for Haley Bryant on the uneven bars. Consistency with Raina Worley. Haley Bryant, the same type of athlete, doesn't make mistakes. She didn't look nervous, Isabella Magnelli. She's a
her hips open up really nicely to accentuate the handstand position. Last week she went 995. Difficult dismount. Small little slide of the feet on that landing, but pretty pretty good routine overall. Yeah, you can't Hard to help, find more deductions. You can't help but think that Jay's excited for them to stick those landings. 100%. She follows Connor McLean's 9.9. .9. Here is Raina Worley on beam. To give you an idea of her consistency, in her college career, she's competed 233 routines. Beautiful series right there. She's hit 232 of those 233. The only miss of vault her freshman year against LSU. I, I like a, those numbers. Yeah, I had a chance to ask her just how, how are you so good at gymnastics, frankly? And she immediately just said, I just love the sport. The joy she has just exudes her when she does her routines. It doesn't matter what event she's on, whether it's a practice or a meet. Wow. She's she's looking, making sure the judges saw that she did not. Lisa Blanco will be the anchor on balance beam. Shania Adams right before her, a 9.925. Question is, is Alabama gonna move ahead of Kentucky? Louisa. Piece of cake for Leanne Wong, another stuck landing. Louisa what a pro. has been the NCAA beam champion in 2021. Last week, she got a 9.975 triple series. Extremely difficult. That can't bring layout, layout. You can tell that she visibly takes deep breaths during this beam routine. Early in her career, she had some inconsistencies, and we really haven't seen that from her this year. And she said it's because she's let go of that expectation and really trying to focus on having fun. It's working for her. Just over a year ago, Kaya Johnson lay on the floor in Lexington with a torn Achilles tendon. Today, she's gonna do a floor routine and walk off with her team as the SEC champs. Louisa finishing round up one and a half. I can't imagine a routine better than Luisa Blanco. expectation and really trying to focus on having fun. It's working for her. Just over a year ago, Kaya Johnson lay on the floor in Lexington with a torn Achilles tendon. Today, she's gonna do a floor routine and walk off with her team as the SEC champs. Louisa finishing round up one and a half. I can't imagine a routine better than Luisa Blanco's. I know Connor McLean already went 10, but I didn't see any deduction in Luisa's routine either. Similar gymnast, great execution and she delivers. But right now, all eyes on Kaya Johnson. 
Bailey Bryan a 9.95. You know what's interesting, Kaya said she had a lot of doubts after her injuries of if she would be just as good as she was before. I think she's better than before her injury. season, but consistent today at the SEC Championship. Jay Clark refers to K.J. Johnson as an unsung hero. He said we give a lot of credit to the big names, rightfully so, but this is one of the best forward teams in the country. You, you said it, Taylor, and right on cue, K.J. Johnson nails the full end. The same amount we saw from Raina Worley executed with absolutely the same perfection in my opinion she has such ferocious gymnastics she attacks everything commands the attention from the audience i mean you can't help but watch this routine but another stuck landing for ella that's three for three if anyone's counting and they need every 10. 0.225 is the difference between third and first. Doesn't sound like a lot, but in a meet with the scores like this and the athletes these teams have, every stuck landing matters. You asked for it, John. She got the job done. Talk about a controlled landing from KJ. Isabella Magnelli now trying to do what Ariana Patterson did on this event. Raina Worley, a 9-9-7-5, will give Kentucky the lead after the third rotation. Open, tuck full in. What you're gonna notice about Raina Worley on floor is just how sharp she is on her landings after her tumbling passes. That's what makes her stand out and so much better than a lot of the athletes that do floor. This last pass is important. No movement of the feet. I don't know if it's gonna be a 10, but I know she can't do it better than she just did right there. She couldn't do it better.